Chapter 8 It happened in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there on me. Then I saw, and behold, a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins and downward fire, and from his loins and upward as the appearance of brightness as it were glowing metal. He put forth the form of a hand, and took me by a lock of my head, and the Spirit lifted me up between earth and the sky, and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the gate of the inner court that looks toward the north, where was the seed of the image of jealousy, which provokes to jealousy. Behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there, according to the appearance that I saw in the plain. Then he said to me, Son of man, lift up your eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted up my eyes toward the north, and see northward of the gate of the altar this image of jealousy in the entry. He said to me, Son of man, do you see what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel does commit here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary? But you shall see again yet other great abominations. He brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then he said to me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had dug in the wall, behold, a door. He said to me, Go in and see the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things, and abominable animals, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed on the wall round about. There stood before them seventy men of the elders of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Jazaniah, the son of Shaphan, every man with his censer in his hand, and the odor of the cloud of incense went up. Then he said to me, Son of man, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in his chambers of imagery? For they say, The Lord doesn't see us, the Lord has forsaken the land. He also said to me, You shall see again yet other great abominations which they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north, and behold, there sat the woman weeping for Tammuz. Then he said to me, Have you seen this, son of man? You shall see again yet greater abominations than these. He brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, all were worshipping toward the sun in the east. Then he said to me, Have you seen this, son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence, and have turned again to provoke me to anger, and behold, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore I will also deal in wrath, my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity, and though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them.